We most recently covered the remarkable discovery, fortunately made in the presence of numerous parties, from a number of international research panels, including media personnel. Fortunate for reasons we previously covered in our last video, regarding the difficulty when such an event occurs, in such a situation, to suppress it in the modern age, and the subsequent unusual characteristics of said discovery. A discovery the world has been fortunate to witness, further cementing mounting evidence for the past existence of an ancient giant civilization. With this next discovery, although completely different in characteristics, we feel its scale alone, with other intriguing features, makes it as equally perplexing. An apparent polar opposite approach in some areas, such as methodology and symbology, even including stone selected. Yet another enigmatic mystery currently sprouting up all over the Giza Plateau. What we found initially interesting was, just like the other enormous tomb we have covered prior, its sheer size, estimated at nearly 9 feet tall and 3.5 feet wide just on the insides. Amazingly, it also initially appeared and was initially presumed to have still somehow been a mysteriously hermetically sealed tomb. This is where the open presses line runs out unfortunately, for although it would seem the sarcophagus has indeed been opened, it has been done privately by the Smithsonian Institute. The details of what was found inside, what sort of remains, and indeed their claimed identity, continue to be a closely guarded secret and a subject of hot debate, with the Smithsonian merely stating further examinations on the body found inside are being conducted. According to the head of Egypt's Supreme Council of Antiquities, quote, There has been a remarkable find in the coastal city of Alexandria. During a routine excavation, experts uncovered a baffling Ptolemaic stone sarcophagus. It has been hailed as a major find, as it can provide insights into the great Hellenistic period in Egypt and its unique culture. End quote. Regardless of academic historians and certain institutions instantly pushing the notion that they know all about this incredible find, and also what exactly could have been found within that black sarcophagus, we find the ordeal highly compelling. Inside a tunnel system carved from the solid limestone bedrock, in the desert of Egypt, lay 24 black granite boxes cut with the precision our modern technologies do not possess. Shaped from as one granite and extremely hard stone. These massive boxes remain a profound mystery for scholars who are unsure as to what their true purpose was, or indeed how old they are. Numerous well-known figures have concluded the hieroglyphics written upon them is of such poor quality it is regarded as graffiti, many people believe Egyptian kings claimed precision made ruins as their own. This is one of the main hypotheses put forward for the Egyptians lack of any records of the pyramids construction, often decorating them in a more primitive form of writing style. The suspected sarcophagi range in weight between 50 and 100 tons. Their real purpose or maybe indeed their function, remains unclear, although they were clearly of importance, they were cut with such precision in fact they would have remained airtight for eons. Researchers like Brian Foster theorize they are clear examples of lost ancient high technology, created before the time of the dynastic Egyptians. Whatever their true purpose was, the truth is that they are beyond magnificent. Well-regarded studies, for example, into the erosion evident on the sphinxes of Giza, have proven to indicate they may be far older than the Egyptian civilizations. By several hundred thousand years, some even claiming they show evidences of past submersions. The Serapium of Saqqara is located to the northwest of the famous Pyramid of Djosa. This necropolis found near Memphis, Egypt, is believed in modern academia to have been built sometime around 1300 BC by Ramesses II. Just what kind of technology, or indeed what kind of man, could have cut, transported, stacked and placed blocks of stones weighing up to 100 tons on top of each other with such accuracy?
Many ancient sites found all over the world can no longer be explained away with currently attested academic opinion. Who they say built them, why, or when they were created. The most popular of these anomalies are the ancient monuments that can be found upon the Giza Plateau. Currently explained as having been built by our copper tool-wielding ancestors a mere 4,000 years ago, somehow successfully creating some of the most precisely built and indeed enormous ancient structures found on Earth, decidedly choosing to use granite blocks many tons in weight as their building material of choice. Ironically, although these sites are somehow exclaimed as having been built by the ancient Egyptians, any actual, literal explanation of how this was actually done has never been provided. Not only is academic opinion severely lacking any logical understandings as to the construction of these sites, they seemingly attempt to ignore and, in some cases, conceal additional controversial anomalies they simply cannot understand. Enormous stone megaliths are hidden all over Giza, and especially around the base of the Great Pyramids. And not only were these buildings adorned with incredibly hard granite, but also basalt, a similarly tough stone, and another which would be near impossible to have hewn with mere copper implements. Known as Giza's basalt floor, it is what many people now see as the smoking gun for evidence of advanced engineering having once been responsible for the construction of the site. Amongst the remaining fragments of the basalt floor is overwhelming evidence of ancient machinery, telltale precision signatures left on many stones, suggesting high technology was responsible for the shaping of Giza's enormous stones. Cut marks that could only have been left by high-speed disc cutting, striations, precise ridges and countless other curious features have been thankfully left upon these stones and these surviving tool marks could one day be used to actually identify the technology once used to build the site. We now feel that the evidence to suggest that the modern attested and mass-published theories regarding the origins of the Giza Plateau, its age, and indeed its creator's past capabilities, is currently incorrect and is now overwhelming and that it is only a matter of time before a revival of this past knowledge and indeed understandings again begins to flourish.